Okay, for this next build I decided to come up with, I decided to do a $20 computer challenge. Not building a whole computer for $20, but actually putting each individual part for $20, putting in a good budget gaming computer. So in this box, I got this computer for $20 on eBay. $20 was the price of it, but I did have to pay $15 for shipping. So for the $15 for shipping, I actually did a little calculation in my head. They had other ones like this, but not as good on, uh, on the Facebook marketplace place local not even local actually probably about 30 40 miles away from where i live and doing the math in the head i would have had, probably had to spend about 20 dollars in gas so i figured the gas expense would have been about 20 dollars. so i paid 15 dollars for shipping so i figured it kind of balances out but i got a whole computer hard drive memory motherboard and everything cpu all that stuff pre-built 20 dollars. we're going to open that up in just a sec so going over to that i decided what am i going to need to make this computer actually a good gaming computer well I hate saying the word gaming, but actually make it a good computer for somebody to use who wants to do some gaming, desktop, whatever they decide to do. So I'm going to my computer box over here and we'll talk about the parts I've just recently gotten. Um, got a keyboard that I use to test these computers out. My Windows, copies of Windows on here, just whatever different versions. Uh, my $20 Wi-Fi USB card. This is my personal one. It's actually not, will not be going with this computer when I do decide to sell it, but I use this to test my computers out when I'm doing work in my garage. I also use it for my theater PC that's inside uh, our bedroom. So still $20, so it kind of keeps in the theme of that, but just not going with it. So we'll put that one over here. Solid state hard drive. Professional solid state hard drive. Uh, I forget the brand who it is. I think it's professional. Got this on eBay, 120 gigs. Let's see if I get that in there. Got the reads and the write speeds, which you know what, for a solid state hard drive for a budget computer, I paid, I think, what did I pay? It's like $18, free shipping. So get this out of the glare. There we go. Paid $18, free shipping. So that worked out good. Once again, eBay. So let's put that back up there. So now for the video card, <clears throat> I actually came up with two options over here. This video card over here, I paid $10 for it. Yes, I paid $10 on it. Got it on the Facebook Marketplace. XFX, I believe it's an R7 270X. What is it? Get that in there. R9 270X, two gigs of DDR5. So actually it's a pretty decent video card for $10. Couldn't complain. The only thing is it's missing the fans. So video card does work. I just got to come up with a fan solution, but I actually have another idea for that one. And it's actually going to be a separate build on how to not a separate build but it's gonna be a separate video on what you can do when you find a actually a good deal with a defective fan or defective or missing heat sink for a low price for video cards so we can do a separate video on that one but I'm either gonna use this one for this build just pop this over here or this one this one I got on eBay this over here XFX, this is an R93 Focus. Focus. There we go. R9380, 4 gigs DDR5. Got this on eBay. Paid $20 for this one. So it still came, uh, comes in the bill. Got this for $20 with free shipping. Not too bad. So this is actually a pretty good video card. And we're going to use that for this build, if not the other one. I haven't decided yet. More likely, I'll use this one. But I'm going to do a separate video on these two video cards to kind of give you um, a tutorial and advice on what you can do with these video cards. This one has a little story to it, and I'll talk about that in a separate video. But the video cards are not the focus of today's video or today's build. Video card, $20. Solid state hard drive, $20. Computer, $20. So it's two, four, six. And anything else I need to add to it? Oh, yes, I have some memory, which is uh, to upgrade to this that I got online. Extra four gigs of RAM. I paid $10 for that DDR3, which this comes with four gig, and we'll talk about the specs and the sex. So I'll upgrade it. So 20, 40, 60, 70. And to finish it up, once again, good old eBay. Found that, which you could get these at Best Buy, they're about $35, $40. I got this one brand new on eBay for $20. They bought it brand new. They actually still have the receipt where they bought it like maybe three weeks prior to me purchasing it. I mean, still sealed and everything. Yeah, I don't want to give anybody's information over there, but this thing is, as you can see, brand new. So I paid $20 for this power supply, which I've used this in other builds, and it's actually a really good power supply. It's performed quite well, so 
that's everything. So for $90, I just have a complete computer that I build. And we're gonna talk about the specs in that one in just a second. We're gonna do an unboxing on that one. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause this video. And when we come back, uh, we'll start opening that up. I just gotta get this junk out of the way. So focus on that. Junk, focus. All right. Magic video editing. So got this on eBay. I was looking on eBay trying to buy a complete computer. I found one on a Facebook Marketplace, which is actually the same model and same everything, but the guy didn't have the CPU. He wanted $20, didn't have the CPU, didn't have the memory, didn't have the hard drive, but he had the motherboard, the case, and the power supply, and okay, I got you. $20, not too bad, but then looking on eBay, I found this one for $20, and it has everything. CPU everything so all I need to do is just kind of pip it up a little bit to kind of make the specs better so Open this up try to do this the one-handed big unboxing All right Right away kudos to the seller For this great packing foam. I mean, I've never bought a computer online before but I love the packing foam so awesome There we go flies pretty good Power supply cable, nice. The seller on Facebook that's on the same computer didn't actually offer me a power cable. So I had to pay $10 extra for that. So sides are packed in. This side's packed in. So alright, not too bad. So I like the way it's packed, and that's pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause this for a sec so I can get this out because if I try to do this one-handed, I'm gonna drop it and that would be the end of this video because this thing would be total. So we'll be right back. Now that we got that out of the way, all right, clean that up later. Here's our computer, a Dell Volstro. The model, which escapes me. Let's go to the back and see if we can get the model over here. Uh, well, whatever the model is, it's a Dell Volstro. And i5 quad core, complete case, all right. I like that the card readers in the front. DVD writer, am I mistaken? Yep, pretty good. All right, onboard video card, network, plenty of USB ports, nice, 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 power supply, everything. So, and also, without getting it away, you got a Windows 7 activation key. There's no All right, let's go ahead and move this up. Stuck on anything over here? All right, pretty good. Nice if they had a screw there, but okay. Alright, so this is what we got. Let's see. Hard drive. Okay. Memory stick. Good. CPU. Everything. It's good. Eh, a little dusty, but we'll give that a little bit of uh, cleaning with some loving over there. Alright, let's see this power supply over here. Made in China. Okay. Uh, let's see the wattage. Get that in there. There we go. Do -do 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 -do. Uh, 300 watt max mm. okay so that's why I figured why I bought the power supply when you buy these things if you're gonna put a video card to upgrade it in upgrade it you're gonna need a little more power a little more juice out of it I'm throwing a solid state which doesn't really use much wattage but I'm actually throwing in a uh, the video card which needs to have a power plug for it so it's always good to upgrade the power supply actually if I take a look at this one let's take a look let's take a look let's take a look this does not actually have the power uh, the power adapters, not the power adapters, but doesn't have the power cables for the video cards. So I'm glad we got that. So I'm gonna be changing out this video, uh, be changing out this power supply. We're gonna be adding four gigs of memory. I'm gonna add a solid state hard drive. I'm gonna add the video cards. So when I get these computers, the first thing I want to do, I always do is I turn them on, I boot them, make sure they power on. I mean, this one powers should power on from what I understand haven't tried it out yet but it does have a 90-day warranty real good seller real nice guy um, power them on test them and then what I do is I install Windows clean on it first copy of Windows and then what I do is I uh, update the BIOS and I'm gonna actually show you that how to update the BIOS how to keep these things running uh, up to date so they're running smooth so they can accept whatever new hardware you're gonna do so I'm gonna go ahead and um, hook up this cheap monitor I have 
mouse, keyboard, internet. I'm gonna install a fresh copy of Windows with the solid state hard drive I have, because that's gonna be the hard drive I'm using for the boot drive for this. And then uh, we'll go over updating the BIOS, we'll go over putting in the video card and everything, and we'll see how this runs. So, be right back. All right, so real quick tip. When you buy these hard drives over here, uh, SATA hard drives, they typically don't come with a SATA cable. And this is what a SATA cable looks like. Um, I got this from another computer that I scrapped. So, luckily on this one, we have, as you can see right there in the SATA ports, we have four ports, two that are used, two that are not used. So we're gonna go ahead and plug this one in to the blue one over here. Get that right there. Blue one cable is the hard drive. And that's what they have as the primary. So I'm gonna unplug this because I want the primary to be my SATA. And then I'm just gonna choose one of these, uh, sorry for the bad camera angle. I'm just go ahead and plug in one of these, the SATA thing into, SATA cable into one of these ports. I'm gonna plug it into this hard drive over here. Um, just, I know for a fact this hard drive has no windows or anything that I was actually put in the listing that windows is not installed or anything, which is fine. Um, it came with serial key, which that right there is Windows, and since I'm computer savvy, I can figure all that mess out, so that works out pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and route this cable, see if I can get you a good angle right over here. All right, hold on one second, put you on pause. There we go. All right, so save the hard drives. This is real tough to do this one-handed, FYI. Save the hard drives, I mean, they weigh nothing. I mean, it's just a board in there, so, I mean, I'm not saying throw this thing around, but... All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop this right in here, plug it in, get that in there. Okay, so got that plugged in, now we just gotta give it power. So for the power, I know this camera angle is horrible. I know, I know, I know. So I'm gonna take this power cable right over here and I'm not gonna be able to do this one handed, but I'm just plugged into the SATA one and my, that'll be my boot hard drive. So then when we start it up, we'll boot over here, install Windows in here, and then like games, program software, we'll go into the mechanical hard drive. I believe this one is a 500 gig hard drive, which should be more than enough for a budget computer that somebody's trying to get into. See all the dirt over here. We are gonna clean this, but before I do anything, I want this thing to boot, want this thing run, want the update fresh BIOS. And then we're gonna take out the heat sink, put some fresh thermal paste into it, clean all these fans out, clean this case, get it real nice and presentable because right now it's a little bit disgusting well maybe a lot of it disgusting but actually i've had worse and actually i think i did a video with worse so yeah you can see all that dust and crap so we'll get all that out we'll clean this thing real good so we'll go ahead and plug the power into the sata cable and then um i'll show you booting it up and all that good stuff installing windows is pretty much straightforward just have it boot to the usb device Plug it in, it'll boot, follow the instructions. I mean, nothing to it. I mean, there's a million videos on YouTube on how to do it if somebody wants to watch it, but straightforward. I'm just gonna go through this because dinner is about ready. So I'm gonna let this thing go ahead and install. Uh, it's got the two hard drives in there. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this one as new. Apply. The other one, I'll go ahead and allocate it and do partitions once it boots up into Windows, but all I'm focused right now is just a solid state so I can have Windows installed. So next, okay, 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 this is the one. No, uh, wait. Why can't it be installed? Let's see. Wait, hold on, there we go. Let's go ahead and delete that. There we go. Hmm. I haven't seen this error before. We'll create partition or locate an existing one. Hmm. Okay. So, haven't seen this before. Let me press pause right over here and figure out and let you know what I get. All right. Okay, about two hours later and I figured out why it was installing Windows. As you can see, we finally got installing Windows and if you look at the computer, yeah, it made a bit of a mess. So, for some reason, I didn't want to recognize the drive ports down there. Um, I tried all different ones, one, two, three, and four, wasn't doing anything. Tried a different power supply, wasn't doing anything. 
tried a different hard drive, went through three different hard drives, and it kept on giving me the same error saying that my drive, uh, what's my call? I can't even think right now. I'm so frazzled from dealing with this, but it kept on saying that pretty much that my controller, uh, my, my controller for the computer for the hard drives was not working, was not being enabled. So I decided to take the CPU out, took out the CPU heat sink, and I should have recorded this, and that's actually my fault. But when I took it out, I took out the CPU. When I looked at the CPU on the pins on the CPU, they, it was actually a little small piece. I mean, very minuscule. I don't even know if I have it here right now. No, I don't have it. But there was a small piece of dried up thermal paste. So I guess whoever had this computer before tried to clean up the old ther thermal paste and they applied new thermal paste. But when they did it, they didn't realize that that little piece of thermal paste, I mean, minuscule. I can't even see if I can find anything out of it. But that little piece of thermal paste was actually blocking some of the pins, which must have making contact on the motherboard, which in turn was disabling my, um, I can't even think of the name for the like of me food, like of me. It was pretty much um, disabling my controller for the hard drive. So that's what it was, a little piece of thermal paste. So I saw it in there, kind of was like being hopeful, Hail Mary, took my compressed air, blew it out. After I blew it out, cleaned up the CPU, just wiped it off, put fresh thermal paste in there, turned it on. And behold, it is now installing Windows. So I'm actually kind of relieved. Motherboard's good, CPU's good, memory's good, all my hard drives are good, SATA's working, even the hard drive I um, bought on eBay over here is working good. So everything's working pretty good. I'm gonna install Windows. Um, I'm pretty much gonna call it for tonight. It's actually kind of late and it's dark. I'm gonna call it for tonight and tomorrow I'll kick it off. By the time you see this, it'll be the next day for me, but actually I'm gonna be maybe a second or two before you see the next part of this video. But tomorrow, um, I'll go ahead, get the hard drive in there, do some benchmarks, do some games, have this computer all set set up, ready to go, and then uh, that will conclude this build. So, so far from a $20 build, $20 parts build, it's going pretty good. So, um, we'll conclude it tomorrow and then we'll get the final results, but so far we're right on track. So, we'll be right back. Uh, I came up with this challenge and I'm just going to spend $20 for each part that was needed. So, I uh, paid $20 for the computer, but I had to pay $15 for shipping. It was okay because if I would have went to anywhere on the Facebook marketplace, it was going to probably cost me $15, $20 in gas to get there because there's nothing local in my area that was actually even worth my time. And everybody that was selling something, they're selling it way overpriced and it's the value they think it's worth, but not actually what it is worth. So that's another video for another time. We'll talk about that later. So I paid $20 for that. Uh, Twenty dollars, uh, fifteen dollars for the uh, for the gas. I'm gonna put that into my budget bill. So I'm at thirty-five dollars. The power supply, we're shipping and everything. That was twenty dollars as well, maybe a little less. So we're just rounding up. So we're at fifty-five. Solid state hard drive, seventy-five. And the video card, pay ten dollars for that. So eighty-five dollars. Oh, and the memory I got, I had to pay because I just bought it local because I was in the buying. I paid $10 for four gigs of DDR3, probably a little too much, so $95, probably take away a couple of dollars here and there, so $90 for this build, that's my rough estimate, $90. So I paid $90 for all the parts in here, and not too bad, 120, sol 120 gig solid state hard drive, helps boost up the speed, 550, 550 watt 80 bronze power supply, which allows me to put in a bigger, beefier video card, gives it more power options, and R9 270X, two gigs DDR5. I did have an issue with the fan not working. Well, it didn't come with a fan, so I got it from an R9 380, made it work, adapted, worked good. Doing this build, I initially had an R9 380 that I bought on eBay, also paid $20 for it, but I don't know what's up with that. I'm gonna have to work with that. That might be a video for another time. So $90, complete build, ready to go, happy with it. So. Keep moving forward i mean if you wanted to you could probably get a mouse and keyboard somewhere for about 10 20 dollars but eh, we're not including that in the bill so 90 dollars for a complete computer bill so what we're going to do is we're going to show some games and some benchmarks first thing we're going to do is load up heaven benchmark that's the software i like to use just to kind of put a little stress test on the video card and cpu i'm going to run basic settings this monitor does not support 1080p so i can't give true 1080p performance on it but I can at least give you an idea of what it will run on the 720p monitor. Um, this is my bench test monitor. I don't use this for anything else besides just testing computers and building them. So eventually when 
I do move up in this world, I will get a 1080p benching monitor, or maybe even a 2K, who knows? But for now, this works. So we're letting this load, and here we go. So it is running Heaven Benchmark. Uh, graphics card is running at 45 degrees Celsius. Graphics, uh, 1050 megahertz for the core, 1400 for the memory. So I do have a little room to overclock it. Of course, the temperature is just gonna spike up a little bit because I'm putting more stress on it. Getting average 100, 120 frames just to make math easier, 120 frames. And this thing works pretty good. So let's see the quality. It's fine, settings, all that good stuff. So that's the settings I got for it. Um, I've already ran a bunch of stress tests on it. This thing runs solid, stable. I've done this for 15 minutes, but we're just doing this for demonstration purposes. So if you have a computer, just kind of side note, and you just want to see what this computer can kind of do, the stress test frames per second, um, you, and you have a 1080p monitor, download the software, Unigen Heaven Benchmark, put it in your computer, and number one, the scenery is real nice. You can do it on full screen. And number two, it kind of gives you an idea of if your computer is going to crash or not, or if there's going to be any issues. So just a quick tip. And um, run is quiet. Of course, the video, can't, video card fan is going to ramp up on it. So, all right, we're going to get out of here. Next thing we do is going to run and fire up some games. We're going to start off. With these games, something to keep in mind with these budget computers. Yeah, we spend $90, $95 on this computer, but you're not going to expect super... 4k you know high super extreme performance no this is just an intro computer to get you into the gaming world or get you a computer for college if this was somebody need a computer for college it's a great computer for college or if you just wanted a computer for office work whatever this is a good intro computer i mean try finding a computer for 95 dollars if you're computer savvy this is a good way to go to learn how to build one put it together and then also i mean like i said it's a good intro into whatever you want to do so just something to think about um, if I was in college and I need a computer against gaming, this would be the route I would go. So, I mean, if you want super stellar graphics and performance, then you better save up your money or figure something out because you're definitely not going to get it with this. But honestly, if you look at it, I'm playing the game live right now. The graphics are not too bad. So, just going to play through this real quick. All right, so the final game we're gonna be playing is uh, just Fortnite, just to demonstrate that it works and it runs fine, no issues with this computer. Um, pretty much to recap on this computer, $90 build. I mean, that's all I got into this computer. And if I wanted to, um, I could probably save the $10 on the video card, made an $80 computer, and spend $100 on a better video card to give me more frames, more graphics, more, uh, a little more bang for the bucks, and still have a $180 computer that would just play this game with even better, better graphics, better qualities, even play more games, even AAA titles. I mean, this game plays any game, uh, this computer plays pretty much any game I throw at it. It's not going to play it at the highest frames per second, at the highest quality, but remember, it's a $90 computer. This is your um, intro and your entry into the gaming PC world, or just if you want an office computer. Um, if we wanted to, $100, get a better video card, probably an RX 470, a 570, they're going cheap now, they can get them used. Uh, what else can you add to this? We can upgrade it to an i7, spend $40 on an i7 if we wanted to, so max out to an i7. Um, 470, so $40 for an i7 on eBay, $100 locally for about RX 570. I've seen them go for $100, so $140. Let's take away $10 for that, so $80, so $220, you can have an i7 with an RX 570 video card, which will play these games even better, even smoother, with no issues. But I'm playing this game fine. I mean, this is great. If I wanted to use this as a media computer, this will work perfectly. If I wanted to, I don't know, like I said, broke college kid, just somebody who just wants to experiment, dabble in the computer world, even better. This is a great computer, and the simple fact that, I mean, if you want to learn how to build a computer, what better way than buy these pre-built ones and mod them? Get comfortable with it. I mean, if you mess it up, you don't lose a ton of money. I mean, $90 is still $90, but it's a great intro and a great start just to kind of get a feel for what you want to do. So um, that's pretty much it. We did meet our challenge. We met our goal. We made a computer, built a computer for $90, which the goal was to build each part for $20 or less. And I will say I succeeded with the video card being $10 for a video card. Can't. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, Continue to like and subscribe to my channel, uh, help it grow, and um, I'll catch you in the next one.